Finally, let's look at uh, one example to illustrate this uh, current density versus over potential um, relationship for generalized butler Wolman equation. So for a hypothetical reaction, let's specify the parameters. N, the number of electron the transfer, let's assume to be 1. Beta, the um, half cell reaction symmetry factor, let's assume to be 0.5. Temperature, assume it to be 298.15 Kelvin or 25 degrees C. J0, exchange current density, let's assume it to be 0 0.001 amp per square centimeter. Not a very big number. And the limiting current density for both the anodic and the cathodic process for the same electrode or half cell reaction is 1 amp per square centimeter. Okay? So we specify uh, the parameters. And then, if we plug these numbers into butler Wolman equation, and for different uh, over potential value, we would get uh, a different uh, current density value. Okay? And this is what we have. The horizontal axis would be eta for uh, over, our over potential for that electrode or half cell reaction. J would be for the net uh, current density. Okay? And the negative eta means cathodic bias or the half cell reaction is going through reduction reaction and the current would be negative. While positive eta means positive over potential, analytic over potential, it means the electrode reaction is going through oxidative or analytic process and the current would be positive. Okay, and then we have this uh, curve, and then let's look at this curve a little bit carefully. First, when eta, I write absolute value, when the eta absolute value could be positive, um, analytic could be negative, cathodic, but the, the, when the eta, over potential absolute value is very small. How small? As we discussed earlier, smaller than 15 or even 10 millivolt, 15 or even 10 millivolt, 0 0.015 volt or even 0 0.01 volt. In that situation, if we look at uh, expand or zoom the in section of current density versus over potential, we would find a almost a linear relationship. Again, the blue curve is for the calculated current density versus over potential, while this black dashed line is a straight line to guide your eye. As you see, when the over potential absolute value is below, let's say around the 20 millivolt, 20 millivolt, or even 15 or even 10 millivolt, we have a very good uh, linear behavior, both for the positive over potential analytic as well as for the negative or cathodic part, linear relationship between current density and the over potential. And in fact, sometimes we can, um, this factor for our slope would be 1 over charge transfer resistance. We talked about this a little bit earlier. 1 over RCT, CT for charge transfer. 1 over RCT would be the slope for current density versus uh, over potential. That's when the absolute value of the over potential is very small. How small? As you can see, from around the point 0 0.015 volt or 15 millivolt on both sides. And even smaller, the linearity is even better. But if you go to, let's say, 40 millivolt, then you see the deviation from pure linear behavior. Okay? And then for intermediate over potential, intermediate over potential, we say, oh, the absolute value for eta, the over potential, is between around 0.1 to 0.3 volt. 0.1 is here, 0.3 is here. So this curved part, this curved part, when we plot linearly, if we are in this range, then we would meet so-called a Tafel relationship, which says, if you remember, 
the over potential is linearly related to the log for current density, absolute value, and that will be intercept and slope. So here we only use the positive section, positive over potential, and then positive current. But then we plot current in logarithm scale. We plot the current in logarithm scale. And as you can see, when the current density, when the over potential is from ah, around the point 0.1 to point 0.3, can be a little bit uh, lower, can be a little bit higher, but overall in this region, all potential absolute value from 100 millivolt to 300 millivolt, from 0.1 volt to 0.3 volt, we have a roughly good linear relationship between resulting current density in log scale and uh, over potential, and over potential, okay? And finally, when the O potential is really large, how large? Let's say greater than around 0.5 volt. When the O potential absolute value is very large, then as you see here, the current seems to be reaching plateau value in either the linear plot or logarithm plot. So current is approaching limiting values. That is what happens when the reaction, the half cell reaction, is limited by mass transfer and sometimes by diffusion. And this plateau value just gives you the limiting current density. Limiting current density. Okay, so from this type of plot for generalized button of equation, we can see three obvious areas. One is linear area when the O potential is very, very small. Linear, strictly linear behavior between current density and over potential. Then next would be the smooth curve transition, or we call Tafel region. Okay, and then we have a linear relationship between natural log of current density and over potential. And finally, when the over potential is very very large, greater than 0.5 volt or 500 millivolt. 500 millivolt. Then we have the current approaching a limiting value again. Limiting current value again. And in this case, anodic limiting current because we are only considering positive current in this case. Okay, so this plot shows the three regions linear, tafel region, and as well as the uh, saturation or limiting region for an electrochemical uh, electrode reaction and that can be described by this generalized Bartolomeo equation.